Okay, it's the day after the flood. The water's gone down probably four feet now. Thank goodness, but the, but the river's still pretty high. As you can see, it ran right over that bank last night, right over the top of those stones and flattened all the, all the vegetation here. Ran right across here, depositing a lot of mud. Came all the way up to the back of the trailer. I had to move the car out of the way. Bring that up, the car was parked down here. You can see where the tire tracks are, where I kind of spun a little bit trying to get out of there. But I mean, like I said, we've got debris stuck behind the trailer tires just to give you an idea how high it came up. This is about two feet higher than anywhere else. Ran right underneath mom's camper over there. We got a bunch of debris around the lawnmower too. The outhouse, high and dry. We found a little high spot there, so that was safe. And my sister's camper also was just high enough that it wasn't a problem. But like I say, you can see this bank where the water spilled over and it was probably running about, oh, I would say pretty close to a foot over that bank and all across the yard. Very grateful we didn't have a serious uh, got to get the heck out of Dodge event. We were pretty fortunate considering how high and how intense the, the water was. Uh, ran right across my neighbor's yard, and as you can see now, his backyard, this is Kyle and Lana, their, their backyard is uh, pretty well dried up, except way over there, you can see a bunch of deposit mud and, and debris where it went back down to the stream. All in all, pretty grateful. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us safe.